In this video, we are going to learn five sentences to help you have better conversations in Chinese. That's right. Before we start the video, go check out Squirtle.com. It's one of the most powerful tools to learn Chinese and Japanese characters. That's right. So you've just started studying Chinese, you've got a fair amount of vocabulary, and you really want to go out there in the wild to practice your conversational Chinese. Now, that can be quite hard, and when you're talking to people in real life, often you'll need clarification, mm -hmm. you'll need people to repeat the sentences. So this video is designed to equip you with five five <laughs> sentences to help you have better conversations in Chinese. <laughs> you might find yourself in a situation like this. So the first sentence we are going to learn today is 你可以说的慢一点吗? Can you speak slowly or can you say that sentence slowly for me, please? Sentence number two. two. 就是我跟你讲没问题, 看到7的时候左转,然后跟你讲你可以再看到一个全家的时候再右转,OK吗?呃,对不起,可以请你再说一遍吗?没问题。So uh, this sentence is, I'm sorry, could you repeat yourself one more time? 对不起,可以请你再说一遍吗? 对不起,可以请你再说一遍吗? 哎呦娜,你要吃水饺吗? So this sentence of Did you just say X is very handy when needing to clarify someone's sentence or maybe there's a piece of vocabulary that you're not familiar mm. with. So you could say 你刚才是说, Let's repeat that sentence one more time. 你刚才是说, Ma. <笑> Sentence number four. <笑> Sentence number four is What I mean is Number five. There may come a situation where you have no idea what they're saying. Or it's maybe a character that sounds like another character, in which case you can say 可以请你帮我写下来吗? Very handy. 可以请你帮我写下来吗? 或者是说现在很多人都是用手机嘛? Right. 你可以说, 可以请你帮我打在手机上吗? Could we have that one more time for can you type it on my phone? 可以请你帮我打在手机上吗? Let's practice the five sentences one more time. You and I will repeat after Iona. 你可以说慢一点吗? 你可以说慢一点吗? 对不起,可以请你再说一遍吗? 对不起,可以请你再说一遍吗? Sentence number three. 你刚才是说吗? 你刚才是说 Ma. <laughs> Sentence number four. 我的意思是, 我的意思是, and the final sentence, sentence number five. 可以请你帮我写下来吗? 可以请你帮我写下来吗? 或是, 可以请你帮我打在手机上吗? 可以请你帮我打在手机上吗? Go check out the Scritter blog to learn these sentences and more in a full blog post to help you have better conversations in Mandarin. And if you enjoy this video, please give up a sign and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you next time. 再见. 订阅. 再见. 订阅. 再见. 订阅. 再见.